why do phyllodendrons turn yellow they turn yellow because of one very very important reason that is overwatering phyllodendrons overwatering yellow is literally the three sentences three words that i can say together all the time and number two reason for phyllodendrons turning yellow is some kind of pest attack uh, it can be mealybugs covered under the leaf it can be mealybugs uh, in the node of the leaf uh, and so on and so forth so these are the two reasons time to check the watering schedule and time to water the phyllodendrons only when the soil is completely utterly dry why do phyllodendrons curl they curl to save uh, the evaporated moisture so they curl when the humidity in the environment is low around them and to save the moisture to preserve the moisture they curl their leaves so that the surface area of the leaves decreases for them to evaporate less water how much water is completely dependent upon the location that you're in but one good rule of thumb for all phyllodendrons and generally all indoor plants is that stick your finger completely into the soil and if it feels very very dry you should water it also other signs of watering are curling of leaves and uh, drooping these signs indicate that the plant needs water so you have to take care of the plant's need according to your location and your location as well amount of light required by a phyllodendron plant uh, in i don't understand all those uh, measurements uh, if you have a light meter you can determine that or most of us don't have a light meter so if you can read a book paper book under a light like this for at least six to eight hours a day that's a perfect place for phyllodendrons most phyllodendrons now the greener phyllodendrons require are tolerant of this kind of light the lighter the phyllodendron leaves are if they have stripes or variegation the more light the more bright indirect light they require so some of my variegated uh, one uh, phyllodendrons are on the east facing window where they get a bright albeit not harsh sunlight but these phyllodendrons phyllodendron pearl max are in this indirect light setup where it survives very well phyllodendron birkin is a designer plant that was initially found as a mutation in a roho phyllodendron roho congo phyllodendron and was subsequently used by professional gardeners and propagators to grow them by tissue culture in lab which is why your birkin can have chances of reverting back to its original mother plant which is the plain uh, reddish green phyllodendron that you can find very commonly phyllodendron birkin is considered very unstable but uh, most gardeners consider it very rebellious in nature they don't tend to conform to the white and green texture that we so much pine over but sometimes revert back to a reddish green combination of white hues and you never know what you're in for depending upon the plant's natural environment if they need to have more chlorophyll in their leaves they will tend to revert back to a lesser pink leaf forms but the biggest way is if you see a leaf that is too much green or pink is very very little what you have to do is prune it back and go to that node where there is most pink that you can find in least green and propagate them uh, chances are that it will grow a lot of pink leaves and give it enough light and enough humidity for it to encourage the pinkness of the pink phyllodendron yes it is toxic to dogs on a cautious side don't let any of your pet animals eat this plant because they might have irritability breathing problems and in severe case of ingestion renal failure as well so please if your dog has by chance uh, ingested a lot of phyllodendron leaves take them to the vet immediately and do proper intervention because it is it has mild to severe level of toxicity depending upon how much and what kind of plant it is for the dogs 
they are not edible for humans you are not recommended to eat philodendron unless you have literally ran out of food even then please don't eat philodendron leaves because they are they can cause irritation diarrhea vomiting swelling a lot of reactions in your body in case you have accidentally ingested so it's toxic to both your pets and yourselves Philodendrons love humidity. As you can see behind me, the humidifier is on. Monstera and Philodendron species love, love humidity throughout the year. If you can buy a humidifier, well, uh, in my place in Kolkata, I have a lot of humidity throughout the year. So I don't need to switch it on all the time. So Philodendrons make for an excellent collection there. Humid, humidity is the best friend of Philodendron. You're not the best friend. My favorite aroids, that is philodendrons, love a well-draining soil. And what do we mean by a well-draining soil? It consists of equal proportions of cocoa peat, perlite, and some compost. They there will be a lot of percentages in various sites, but use your discretion. If the soil feels lighter and not too much water retaining, you can mix sand in it, you can mix perlite to lighten up the soil, you can mix a little bit of charcoal bits and bark as well to make the soil lighter. Lighter the soil, the better it is for phyllodendron. They don't need to roots to retain that much water. They like well draining soil which means the water will flow down and not keep it very soggy and tight for a long period of time so the roots cannot breathe 